Well, today was a lovely day. Um, it was Saturday. Um, and uh, in, the, in the month of June 2020, I think it's the... Uh, what date is it? Hang on, I'll just check. In this, in this pandemic, one loses track of what bloody day it is. Um, let me see. Uh, 19th was yesterday. So it's the 20th of June, Saturday, 20th of June. And it's just a typical old Saturday night for Lord Riggs at Elveston in uh, the beautiful countryside of the uh, lower New England uh, part of Australia. Um, went to church today for the first time in, oh, since December. That's true. I haven't been to church since December 2019 when the bushfires were on. And then um, after Christmas, had a few weeks holiday. And then, of course, things started to hot up in Wuhan, China, and... Um, the world started to slowly go mad, but for good reason. Now, today, um, oh, the chooks are pretty happy out the back. i got two chooks, and I call them Henny and Penny. And um, I lock them up overnight uh, to protect them from Faye's cats. Uh, Faye's a lovely lady a few doors down, but she's got a stack of cats, and... Occasionally, one or two of them goes for a bit of a wander over the fences and finds their way into the garage where I've got the, the chooks and sometimes I'll leave the door open so the chooks can come out. And uh, But they, they tend to just, um, being a cold night in winter, they, they tend to want to be just sitting on top of a chair or something in the garage. But I've got a, a little cage for them now, just big enough to uh, lock them up for, for overnight and uh, plenty of food for them and uh, water and they've been wormed, they've been dusted for ticks and all that stuff that you're supposed to do with chooks. I did all that a long time ago. Um, but when they get out through the day, nice sunny day it was today, beautiful day. Um, oh, I see the chooks running around. They're starting to follow me now. They know I'm not a threat. I just pick them up every second night to put them in their, in their little... Uh, chook pen, tiny little chook pen. It's it's not too cramped, but I, I wouldn't keep them in there all day like what some of the chook farmers do. It's cruel. Um, but it's so nice for me personally to see them. They get the funnies like little cats and dogs do sometimes. They go for a little run. You know, It's not out of fear. They'll just feel good and they'll... You can see the little minds struggling to tick over and off they go one on go in one direction the other one will follow it or go in the opposite direction and and it's just nice i'm enjoying the chooks now back to the church um the south pacific islanders were there today it was lovely to see them and uh pastor stanley was talking about um he's making belts and he brought a belt out and he he was comparing us to um uh, being a carcass off a cow how we all start off as a carcass off a cow and then you strip the leather off the carcass and you eventually manipulate it in you mold it into a belt and that was his way of saying that's how God is molding and manipulating us and um, uh, knocking off all the imperfections and uh, making us useful I suppose but anyway it was a good uh, it was a good um, service after which i was asking dong his wife about her garden in particular um she's got spring onions growing and and i've got spring onions growing too but i've never actually picked any of the onions so i don't know how they if they grow above the ground or below the ground and she said quite clearly now there's a flower that comes at the top of the thing when it's ready and there's only one onion that you're going to get underground. So I thought, well, what's the point of growing spring onions if you're only going to get one onion? And she said, Regs, if I may be so bold as to call you Regs. I said, well, that's my name, Regs. It's actually Regan, but 
people mispronounce it, so just call me Riggs. She said, well, I did call you Riggs, if you, you know, you know, clear your ears out. And I said, oh, Dong, that's a bit stern. No, she didn't say, I'm just, I'm just waxing lyrical. Anyway, back to the spring onion. She told me about this little flower on top of the spring onions that uh, you get all the seeds from, and she said that's where you get lots of spring onions because it, it gives you the seeds and then you, can, you plant them individually. And one seed gets you one onion, but you'll get about 20. So you've got to be patient with spring onions. I learned that much. We also talked about mushrooms. How do, I asked, how do you grow mushrooms? Because I like mushrooms very much. And then the South Pacific Islanders said, Regan, because that's my name, they said, Regan, if I may be so bold as to call you Regan, I said, well, you pronounce it beautiful. That's what my mother called me. And said, let's not go down that track again. So anyway, um, they told me that if you grow a banana tree, the little mushrooms grow around the base of the banana tree. And I thought, oh, that's pretty good. How does that happen? And they said, we don't know, but that happens. So I said, I'm going to try that because I like bananas. And I said, do you know why I like bananas? And they said, no, Riggs, you tell us why you like bananas. And I said, I like bananas because they're clean. It's a clean fruit. You just peel it, put the peel in the bin, and you eat it, eat the banana, and there's no mess. I said, it's why I like mandarins. There's no mess with mandarins. And uh, it's why I like nectarins. No mess with nectarins. No mess with pink lady apples. Uh, but with oranges, a little bit of mess. Watermelons, a lot of mess. Mangoes, I love mangoes, but I don't eat mangoes because they make too, bl- too much mess. Anyway, by that time, of course, they're all laughing at me, but that's all right. Um, anything to make them happy. They're a good audience, too. Laughed at all the right moments. Um, when I come back, what did I do? Oh, a terrible day on the tipping. Uh, Saturdays, as you probably know, is my big day of the week for tipping horse racing. And being the world's uh, best value horse racing tips since 1973, it's not very often I get bold middle stump first ball in the early quaddies, the first leg. I get on Facebook and Twitter and I say, have a crack at these little quaddies, see how you go for a possible, you know, 5 or 10% of ten or $20,000, whatever it could have been, for their little outlay of 100 bucks. Um, always saying gamble responsibly. Um, I picked five horses in each leg, and wouldn't you know, the first leg, a 20 to 1 shot gets up, and it's not one of mine, so I had to always fess up. It's called fessing up if you tip a loser. You've got to fess up if you... If you've got courage, and I do have courage, as you know. And so I said, well, folks, I've been bold middle stump first ball. <laughs> and so that was the end of the early quaddies. And then, wouldn't you know it, the main quaddies and the latter races in the program, oh, 21 shot gets up, then 33 to 1 shot gets up, 17 to 1 shot gets up. And I tipped no winners at all today. It was dreadful. That same applies Flemington and Doombin, so I had to... Had to contact with one of my customers who's near and dear to me. He pays me $250 a year for my tips. And I had to say, well, it's been a tough day at the office. He said, don't worry about it. Swings and roundabouts, he said. He's a very nice man. So I gave him an extra six months free subscription. And he thought, oh, you don't have to do that, Riggs. I said, oh, it's a good bloke. It's all right. You're one of my best customers. Anyway, I've waffled on a little bit too much because we're coming up to nine minutes. But let it be known that uh, June the 20th, uh, 2020, has still been a pretty good day because I was able to hose the lawn. I've, I've moved some of the turf sods from the backyard where it's growing like crazy out to some of the bare patches out front. Um, and, of course, that's what I used to do with Lenny Herbert at the Richmond Race Club uh, When the track went into recess, we would transfer the turf sods from the trotting track onto the beautiful billiard green greyhound track um, in the off-season. Anyway, without any further adieu, this is Lord Riggs just filling you in with what happened today, Saturday, June 20, 2020, in the year of our Lord. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, etc., etc., etc.